Hey beautiful people. So recently I've just purchased this mini waffle maker by Dash at Target for $9.99. And I'm super excited because every single time I make pancakes, they kind of turn out a little horrendously until I get to like the last one. Um, so maybe my like temperatures are a little off, but hopefully this waffle maker kind of works wonders. I don't know. Okay, so I have my Aunt Jemima buttermilk complete. All I have to do is either add a little bit of water or add a little bit of uh, milk, and we all get this thing going. I personally prefer to use milk, so I use 3 fourths a cup of milk and one cup of pancake mix. So apparently there's supposed to be a blue light that's lit up at the top. I can't really see it, but it means it's ready once it's turned off. I actually put the batter in the uh, measuring cup and stir it up a bit because there were a little bit of lumps. So just so it's super smooth and easy to pour out, I put it in this. Just checking to make sure, you know, it's hot. Pour my batter in there and close. Yeah, so this part's pretty embarrassing. It's definitely a fail. I didn't know how much to pour in there, so trial and error. Um, I also could not take the waffle out because I forgot to spray some cooking spray, even though this is nonstick. But finally, your girl got it out. The part that was stuck in there is super brown, but I learned my lesson for the next one. I did spray it a little bit with cooking spray and this is the most beautiful waffle that I've ever seen in my life because it came out virtually perfectly. So I'm happy about that, y'all. <laughs> this is my third one and it got stuck to the top because I didn't know you had to spray cooking spray each time you make a waffle. But it, you know, it gets better, trial and error, you know, whatever. And here's my beautiful stack of waffles that I drench in maple syrup. My waffles are complete. I'm literally just waiting to taste them. I mean, I know it's gonna taste like pancakes, just shaped like waffles, but I'm ready to, I'm ready to, you know, dig in a little bit. 